everybody. Welcome back to another weekly market review for F45 Trading. Now, this week is going to discuss June 22nd to the 26th. So, uh, getting back into this here for the week, um, <clears throat> and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a weekly review off last week. So, for everybody who was uh, out there who was expecting that, I do apologize. Uh, I was um, away out of town on holidays. Uh, for that previous weekend and into early uh, last week, and so I didn't get a chance to do it. So um, hopefully you guys uh, all had a good week. Nonetheless, though, I was looking for the U.S. dollar uh, to pop up into this territory in here last week, and we ended up getting that. Albeit, though, we were um, pretty much in a sideways consolidating uh, environment, and, and I'm talking uh, mainly about where the highs uh, and lows of the week started. We pretty much stayed in the majority in this range right here, uh, Tuesday creating the low, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday shooting up and into the lows up into here uh, where I was looking. So uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I'd like to see this continue higher. Now, I think there's a very good chance that we could certainly come back and rebound back up into the lows of these candles right into here. Uh, and if you look closely um, at 98.30, uh, there's a little bit of a gap in there as well, too, that I think they could possibly come back in and fill back up. So looking at this week's economic calendar, uh, we have a couple of uh, noteworthy events that I guess we should probably mention. And um, it starts off with the Canadian Dollar Bank, um, Bank of Canada, Governor um, Macklem speaking. They must have just had a vote and switched that because that wasn't Macklin before. <laughs> and then we have uh, EURUSD French Flash Services on Tuesday at 3.15 a.m. And then we've got uh, more European um, German uh, flash manufacturing news at 3.30 a.m. And all right through into 4 o'clock a.m. Um, with uh, the PMI, uh, flash manufacturing PMI and flash services. Uh, and then uh, GBP, or the pound sterling, has flash manufacturing PMI as well, too, at 4.30 a.m. And then uh, it sort of caps it all off with the Bank of uh, England Governor Bailey speaking. And then we have flash manufacturing for the U.S. dollar. So I would imagine by Tuesday, uh, we should have a pretty clear direction as to where the U.S. dollar is going to be headed for the week. And um, like I would suggest by probably, you know, at the very latest by 9.45 a.m. New York time, if it hasn't made an ultimate dis a direction, we'll probably stay in consolidation for the rest of the week. But I have a sneaking suspicion that we're probably going to be heading uh, higher. Uh, Wednesday, clearly, as of right now, the time of this recording, we do not have any news, but that will change. And then Thursday, we have a whole bunch of low impact, uh, excuse me, medium impact news events for the U.S. dollar. We have core durable goods, uh, final GDP and unemployment claims for the dollar. And as you can see, the unemployment claims, uh, now that everything is finally starting to open back up again, they are predicting lower unemployment numbers than the previous week and so on and so on. So we should start to see um, the effects of that um, in terms of, you know, adding support, I guess, to the dollar. Obviously, the lower number of unemployment, the, the more economically stable it would be, which would lend to higher U.S. dollars. So we'll see how that comes out. Uh, and then we've got a stress test, bank stress test at 4.30 p.m. on uh, Thursday the 25th as well, too. So keep an eye on that one. And then Friday, we have more impact, uh, medium impact news events with core PC uh, price index, PCE price index, uh, personal spending, and revised UOM consumer sentiment. So definitely a lot of news early off on Tuesday regarding euro and GBP, and then um, finishing off strong with the US dollar. So like I say, uh, we should have a pretty clear idea as to what it wants to do. Now, it wouldn't take very much for the US dollar to run back up into this range in here where I think it could be heading. And just to clarify, I think we could either range all the way up to 98.30 and possibly even back up into the consolidation area uh, up into here at, um, this would probably be low 90s, uh, low 99, excuse me. Um, yeah, about 99 even. Uh, could be a possible target on US dollar for the week. I'm definitely thinking we're going to run up into this area here, uh, and we'll see what they want to do. So um, as long as price stays above, and this last week, actually, what I wanted to see as price was dipping down Tuesday was them stay above this 96.45 level, and uh, that actually worked 
just beautifully. The low of this candle came in just uh, just slightly lower than that uh, at 96.37, and then expanded quickly to the upside. So um, this week, as long as nine as price stays above 96.90. Um, I believe there's a very strong chance that we're going to finish the week higher. Um, it, well, if not finish the week higher, certainly run higher um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday, and we'll see what it wants to do from there. Uh, but certainly, I think we're going to see price at least a dollar or two more than where we're currently at. And uh, I would assume that we could come down as low as uh, back into the bodies of this consolidation. See these candles in here from last week, um, at least to the body of this possibly as a low and then see price rebound so just to clarify i'm looking for price to possibly come a little bit lower we're already starting to at the time of this recording sunday evening um, markets have opened it is almost london open uh, for monday morning so i'd expect a little bit of a run lower here possibly for the rest of monday um, and then maybe some of tuesday and then for price to hopefully bounce higher and i'm looking for either targets of 99.30 excuse me, 98.30, all the way up to 99 even. So we'll see if that actually pans out. And one of the reasons why I believe that's going to happen is because I think we're still going to see lower prices on Euro USD. Uh, so in order to get lower prices on Euro USD, we would obviously need to have higher prices on US dollar. I think there's a very strong likelihood that we're going to see price come all the way down to at least uh, 110. And I'll put that on the chart here. So 110. Um, right about here without having to get too concerned about it uh, 110 to um, uh, yeah you know maybe 110 20 somewhere in and around there uh, possibly uh, you know down somewhere in the middle of this this box that I have highlighted in here um, you know 110 20 to 110 50 is kind of where I'd be looking at so if you look at where price currently is sitting we're at 111 90 uh, you know 111 excuse me 112 ish and i think there could be a potential of at least 150 pips lower where we could uh, uh see price run down to so let's watch for that now i've got a whole bunch of stuff here on the chart let me just actually clear this up real quickly i forgot to do that my apologies i usually have these charts fairly clean um i'd like to see if price could stay below uh well really this blue line here if price can stay below 1 12 25 to the upside so we could see some more upside uh we, price could come up into here again as us dollar possibly could drift a little bit lower uh, i'd like to see 112 25 um be held off it price could possibly spike all the way up to 112 70 ish 112 80 so just bear that in mind but i what i don't want to see is price going back any higher than um right about uh you know into the 113 levels i definitely don't want to see price go higher than that and i'd say venture to say that 112.70 would be my line in the sand if we saw price go any higher than that uh then i think they'd probably be running for the old highs here and in which case us dollar would clearly be below the 96 uh 90 level and uh and therefore we could anticipate higher prices on euro usd uh, but for now, uh, I'd like to see lower prices to finish off the end of the week down to the 110.20s, uh, 110.50s with a possible rebalance higher before it drifts lower uh, up to 112.25. So I'd like to see this happen and then possibly price run lower into there. So we'll see if we get that this week. We'll watch that 112.25 level. That's going to be pretty critical. If it does want to run higher than that, my absolute line in the sand, as I say, is 112.70. And if that level gets breached, well, then I think we can probably target the high here and possibly the high here as price is obviously going to want to clearly reverse. So we'll watch for that. Uh, and I'm going to keep this video relatively short as well, too, guys. Um, I don't want to be too long in the tooth on this one. Now, here's the thing on GBP USD. Uh, price had come down and rebalanced uh, a lot quicker than what I had anticipated. I sort of thought GBP USD was going to take a little bit more time to come down. Um, now, if you look at this chart, uh, it, I had highlighted this area here last week, and we, we clearly got a, a very steep, quick run down Thursday and Friday. It was actually, um, actually quite surprising. We got about a 200... 25 pip run those two days so very impressive and very very quick um i was 
um, hoping to see a little bit of hesitation back. That's where these two lines, uh, blue lines are right in here. I was hoping to see a little bit of hesitation in there. Uh, we did not uh, see that. It just it smashed right through. So uh, very impressive. Lower targets for last week. Now this week here, this has achieved an objective to the downside that um, I was hoping would have taken a little bit longer to uh, pan out. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, my levels in here have been completed. So what happens to uh, GBP USD this week? I think it's very likely that we could see a little bit more consolidation and, and probably not as big sweeping ranges, um, uh, you know, levels that we had last week. And, you know, we'll have to wait and see on this one. I think my attention this week is going to go to mainly Euro USD because I think there's more downside potential as opposed to GBP USD. It's already reached that downside potential. Now, price could certainly run lower than where it is currently. And I would even say it could certainly run all the way back down into this range in here. Basically, if you look and you take uh, this low up to this high, we could run right back down into the middle of that range right there. So just take a fib and run it from that low to that high, and you can kind of see the levels that I'm talking about. There is a potential for price to run all the way back down to um, 112.20 on the downside. Or excuse me, I said 112.20. I meant 122. If I can get it, come on, close enough. Uh, 122.20 is sort of potential uh, additional movement to the to the lower side. If we go lower than that, uh, then I think we're going to be um, challenging this low down here. And I don't really want to see that. Not that I don't want to see it. It's just that, you know, I was hoping that price would have been a little bit more bullish on GBP USD. Um, I've got some targets for some ho old highs up in here uh, that I really like that I would have was hoping that they would have come back up for. Um, big resistance up in here. And I told you guys to watch for that up into here. So hopefully you did and you weren't just sitting long hoping for this thing to reverse. We can see the obvious correction in here. Um, possibly more downside potential. Again, as I mentioned, as US dollar continues to rally higher, uh, we could see lower prices. I want to see what happens when we get down to 122.20 and uh, see where the US dollar is at. If the US dollar it has uh, hit these highs up into here and GBP is has come down into here, then I'd say the likelihood for this to see a bounce could be very likely, and I'd probably wait for them to put that in. Uh, but for now, um, as I say, I think there's more downside potential in EURUSD. Not that GBP wouldn't give us some potential downside mo momentum. You know, there could be about another 190 to 200 pips downside, but I'm just not too sure if we're going to keep going south once we get into this level or if it's going to rebound. So um, I think... M m for me, anyway, I think it would be a little bit more of a high probability trade uh, going into Euro USD. But I'll leave that up to you guys and for my members um, on Tuesday when the price pans out. Now, Euro GBP, I was actually wrong on Euro GBP. So additionally, I had said uh, I wanted to see price jam up into this region in here. We got that perfectly. Uh, price reacted just beautifully in this area, exactly as I thought it was going to do. However, it did hesitate and consolidate. Uh, I wanted to see price run lower off of this high here. It did that. But then it just didn't really didn't uh, really fail to go anywhere. And now you can see um, Thursday and Friday, the run up Friday, just squeaking above that high here. And now we're just still sitting here. So uh, this is looking fairly bullish right now. Now they could run price all the way up to uh, this level at 91.63. Uh, so just watch out for that. But I think if we're going to see lower prices on Euro USD, uh, they're going to have to take this lower. Um, obviously, euro being the front currency, lower euro GBP equals lower euro USD. Now, if we do run lower on this pair, that would typically give GBP USD um, a chance to run higher. So that's why I say I think there's a better chance for euro USD to go lower than this pair to go lower. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of wait and see how that pans out. Um, but for now, this could be a stop run above that high, and then they just drift it lower. Um, or if they continue to run this up into here, it could play a little bit more havoc into uh, Euro USD and GBP USD. So just be careful on that. Keep your eye on this guy here. We'll see what it wants to pan out to. It could ultimately run all the way up into here. But I'd like to kind of see how Monday and Tuesday pan out to see if that gives it to us. Because uh, there are several stops underneath here that they didn't really want to run. 
and uh, could be the potential for them to just sort of turtle soup up in here and then drop lower. So we'll see what they want to do on Euro GBP. US CAD had a great reaction off of this level here after it filled the gap, um, pushed down a little bit more and then pretty much went sideways, uh, swept the lows once real quickly, just tagged back in here, creating two equal lows there and then ran higher. I, I think there's definitely potential for um, this pair to run a little bit higher. into this week. <clears throat> and I'd like to see them run back up to the consolidation level that we have here. So that's why I have that highlighted. Uh, that comes in at about 137.50, 137.40, somewhere in there. I'm looking for price to come back up into. Uh, and now it's about 150 pips away from now. So very, very easy range. US CAD should be able to do that in no problem. Where it goes from there though, uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see as US dollar uh, pushes back up hopefully um then you know we'll see where it's at when us um us cad gets up into this range here if it hasn't quite if us dollar hasn't quite hit the objectives up into here yet and us cad is already up into here then i would expect price possibly to go even higher and maybe want to trade back up into this consolidation area here but i think for now um more than likely, we'll probably see this act as some sort of resistance, at least, and see a bit of a bounce uh, for the most part. Uh, but we'll see. US CAD has really been trading sideways, so I, I have been doing a lot with this pair uh, the past two weeks. After we hit this objective here, we sit on our hands and wait for more information to see if it does bounce, which we did get one day up, uh, but we didn't see a continuation on that. We just went straight sideways for the past uh, two, four, six, eight days. So we'll see what they want to do if they want to finally break out of this range here or uh, if we're going to see more sideways consolidation on US CAD. But I would ex at least expect to see uh, 137.50 to 137.40 um, get reached back up into this week. So we'll see if they want to do that. Aussie, um, and this is another reason why I think we're going to see higher prices on US dollar because I think Australian dollar has lower uh, to go as well. So a couple of pairs are kind of tipping the, their hat, EURUSD and Aussie, especially being one of them, that uh, I think we could see more downside potential and possibly see Aussie trade at least down to uh, 6730 to 6725, uh, maybe even 6720. We'll just leave it right there for now. Uh, but certainly more downside potential. Uh, we're, I said 6920. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I'm obviously blind. It's been a long day. Uh, it's Father's Day today, by the way. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Uh, it's been a very long day spent with my kids today, so my eyes are obviously playing tricks on me. Uh, 0.6720 is the downside target that I'm looking for on this week. Uh, I wouldn't like to see this go much higher. Uh, I would tolerate uh, price going up to 68.75, 68.80 at the highest, we're pretty close to that now, 68.60 right now, um, but I'd like to see lower prices. So we're at least 100 and, well, what are we, 130 pips or so, um, you know, possibly if we go all the way up into here, uh, about 160 pips away from that target. So uh, certainly more downside potential, and it could go even lower. I'm just at using this as a conservative estimate. We could come all the way back down to this consolidation level in here at high 66s. Uh, so watch for that. But I do believe we're going to see lower prices on Australian dollar. And this being one of the pairs, like I was saying, I believe there's lower, um, uh, there's potential lower for price to go down, which should push US dollar higher. So that's another reason why I'm kind of thinking US dollar is going to run up as well too. Uh, not that the uh, tail wags the dog or anything like that, but the uh, the Australian dollar being the tail and the US dollar being the dog, of course. But um, certainly, I think there's more cause and there's a lot more um, um, reasons, I believe, in my opinion, for price to go higher on US dollar than lower uh, for the time being at, the, at any rate. Um, okay, and that's all for uh, 4X. I'll just quickly review crude oil and uh, and gold and wrap this up here. So... Crude oil, we have pretty much achieved the objective that I was looking for for the past, uh, I'd say, six to eight weeks or so. Um, price came up into here a couple of weeks ago and just failed to go and, and really close off this gap. And, and, and so you can see in here, I'll just move this out of the way a little bit. You can see price just failed to get to the low of this candle here. Uh, the low comes in at 41.04, call it. 
Uh, high on this candle here comes in at 4065. So certainly some upside potential still to go on crude oil. I'm expecting them to do that this week, but um, it's been very, very slow and lethargic the past couple of days. Really wasn't super excited about a whole bunch on crude oil last week. Uh, did get a scalp off early Monday last week for a run up into here, uh, but it was pretty short lived. And then I saw a price fall off last, I think this was Thursday's candle, um, fell off redistributed price back down to the consolidation level in here and a quick abrupt um, buy back in and now we, we've seen price open up and just a very very interesting pattern in here price gapped all the way down filled that gap very quickly and so far we're moving sideways so um, I guess all of that just sort of you know if, if you look at what's been happening here we had price come down expand up rebalance here consolidate for a couple of days and then expand up last Thursday and Friday and, and now we're just kind of sitting sideways so uh, do we come back down lower one more time I honestly don't think so uh, I think as long as they don't want to come much lower than this old low right here that we'll probably see a continuation higher at least up at the very least up until it hits this low uh, on this candle here which I said was um, uh, 40 uh, sorry low on this candle was 41 there it is there 4104 so i'll put that right here just so we got it on here and we'll call it 4105 just for making a nice even number so we're close we're 39 um 87 3990 right now oil could do this uh, you know could do a dollar in the blink of an eye lately so I'm expecting that range to get filled in. What happens after we fill that gap in? Probably going to continue higher, a little bit more upside potential. But listen, folks, I've said this before, be careful with crude oil. Um, they're creating a lot of areas in price below the market right now where they would just love to come back down and, and sweep everybody's sell stop uh, out from under their feet on them. So just be careful of that. And they could move this thing quick. You look at how quickly, you know, price opened up and then literally gapped down about $10 this day right here. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to see gaps like that, uh, but I don't think crude oil is out of the woods yet by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so just be careful on crude oil. Okay, but I'm expecting 4105 to get filled and possibly even higher this week. Finally, gold. We had a big gap up on gold this week uh, to start off. So far, uh, price has... Reba well, almost rebalanced. We, we, we gapped up in here and just kind of came down on the wick and uh, and then price ran off. So um, I'm expecting them to come back down lower. Uh, this kind of looks like a bit of a stop run to me. You know, they had price, um, I'll put the data biters on here. So this was last week trading. trading. This was uh, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks ago. We just failed to get above the five week mark uh, out here. I'll put a line on that up there. Ran right up into some resistance up into this area here. So far, we haven't gone anywhere. But I think this is just, this to me just kind of looks like they popped price up to run all the buy stops above the market, and they're probably going to sink this lower. If you, um, if the US dollar goes higher, it should technically push gold lower. Um, and if you look at gold and you look at what's been setting up here, I've, I've had these equal lows here on the chart marked out for... Um, well, for a couple of weeks now. <clears throat> and I was hoping that this sort of weak price action in here last week would have got us and, and price would have drifted down. Uh, not the case. We had a big, strong finish last Friday. Price popped up above here. Listen, if price goes above this high here, then I don't think it's going to come back down and we're probably just going to see gold off to the races. But um, I think there's a chance that we're going to come back down and sweep under here. And I also have this little area. See these lows under here? There is a potential for them to run all the way back down there as well. I'm watching for this. I'm not buying gold yet. I think if we can see price rebalance under here, <clears throat> that would be a much, much better opportunity than buying gold up in this area. I could certainly be wrong, and there could be a lot of gold traders out there pulling their hair out and say, what are you crazy? This is obvious. They're going straight up. It's not coming back down. Bye, 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 bye. You know what? If that's the case, I miss the boat and it is what it is. There's plenty of other trades out there, but I just feel like this to me looks like it wants to come out lower. Um, call me a, you know, bearish pessimist, um, you know, by nature or whatever, but 
I think everybody wants to give gold a reason to run higher and everyone's dogpiling in long and I think they're going to pull the rug out from all the bull's feet. And I think there's a, a chance we're going to run lower. And this pop above here was just a stop rate and they're going to sink it. But I guess that'll remain to be seen. If we come back down through the bulk majority of the trading range from last week, then there's no doubt in my mind this these are going to be my targets for the week so we'll we'll see what crude oil has to offer i'll update uh, everybody else uh, out there for free next week we'll see if gold does what uh, i think it's going to do or if i'm going to be wrong and it'll be running this high uh, for all of our members obviously i will call it on the fly as it's happening throughout the week you guys can get privy to that and if you want some more information on how to become a member check out f45trading.com and uh, we'll hopefully see you on the inside. For all my members, I will see you guys in the charts tomorrow. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day again to all the dads out there. And we'll catch up to you soon.